The Wormersley number is a dimensionless number in biofluid mechanics. It is a dimensionless expression of the pulsatile flow frequency in relation to viscous effects. It is named after John R. Wormersley for his work with blood flow in arteries. The Wormersley number is important in keeping dynamic similarity when scaling an experiment. An example of this is scaling up the vascular system for experimental study. The Wormersley number is also important in determining the thickness of the boundary layer to see if entrance effects can be ignored. Derivation The Wormersley number, usually denoted, is defined by the relation where L is an appropriate length scale. Omega is the angular frequency of the oscillations, and nu, rho, mu are the kinematic viscosity, density, and dynamic viscosity of the fluid, respectively. The Wormersley number is normally written in the powerless form in the cardiovascular system. The pulsation frequency decreases as the blood is distanced from the origin of pulsation, the heart. However, the Wormersley number, like many characteristic numbers, defines a system by order of magnitude. The pulsation frequency maintains a single low OM throughout the body and is square-rooted in the Wormersley equation, reducing the OOM further. Therefore, the frequency change in blood flow does not affect the characteristics defined by the Wormersley number. Characteristic length, or in the case of blood flow, the diameter of the vessel, is a defining characteristic of a system and often the driving factor of characteristic numbers. Since the vessel diameters in the body differ up to 300m, the Wormersley number will depend predominantly on diameter. That being said, using standard values for frequency, viscosity and density, the Wormersley number of human blood flow can be estimated as follows. Below is a list of estimated Wormersley numbers in different human blood vessels. It can also be written in terms of the dimensionless Reynolds number and Struhal number. The Wormersley number arises in the solution of the linearized Navier-Stokes equations for oscillatory flow in a tube. It expresses the ratio of the transient or oscillatory inertia force to the shear force. When is small, it means the frequency of pulsations is sufficiently low that a parabolic velocity profile has time to develop during each cycle, and the flow will be very nearly in phase with the pressure gradient, and will be given to a good approximation by Poiseuille's law. Using the instantaneous pressure gradient, when is large, it means the frequency of pulsations is sufficiently large that the velocity profile is relatively flat or plug-like, and the mean flow lags the pressure gradient by about 90 degrees. Along with the Reynolds number, the Wormersley number governs dynamic similarity. The boundary layer thickness that is associated with the transient acceleration is inversely related to the Wormersley number. This can be seen by recognizing the Wormersley number as the square root of the Stokes number, where L is a characteristic length. Biofluid mechanics In a flow distribution network that progresses from a large tube to many small tubes, the frequency, density, and dynamic viscosity are the same throughout the network, but the tube radii change. Therefore the Wormersley number is large in large vessels and small in small vessels. As the vessel diameter decreases with each division the Wormersley number soon becomes quite small. The Wormersley numbers tend to 1 at the level of the terminal arteries. In the arterioles, capillaries, and venules the Wormersley numbers are less than 1. In these regions the inertia force becomes less important and the flow is determined by the balance of viscous stresses and the pressure gradient. This is called microcirculation. Some typical values for the Wormersley number in the cardiovascular system for a canine at a heart rate of 2 Hz are ascending aorta 13.2, descending aorta 11.5, abdominal aorta 8, femoral artery 3.5, carotid artery 4.4, arterioles 0.04. Capillaries 0.005, venules 0.035, inferior vena cava 8.8, .8, main pulmonary artery 15, 
It has been argued that universal biological scaling laws are a consequence of the need for energy minimization, the fractal nature of vascular networks, and the crossover from high to low Womersley number flow as one progresses from large to small vessels.